Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to day six. Today we're going to be doing memory corruption. I believe, yeah, memory corruptions, memories of Christmas past. So this should be some fun. I'm not the best with buffer overflow, so I'm sure I'll learn something new today. Hopefully you learn something new and let's have some fun and jump onto the desktop and enjoy the day. All right, folks, so here we are on the desktop. So this is day six. So it's about memory corruption, memories of the uh, memories of Christmas past. All right, so I started up my machine. The learning objectives here are to understand how specific languages may handle, may not handle memory correctly or safely. Understand how valuable variables might overflow into adjacent memory and corrupt it. This is pretty interesting stuff. So obviously, the whole purpose of buffer overflows is to fill up bytes and corrupt the data or corrupt the uh, the memory, right? Exploit a sp simple buffer overflow to directly change memory you're not supposed to access. So pretty much it's, it's very straightforward, but it can be tricky. I remember learning this about four or five years ago and it was so confusing. People think subnetting is confusing. This stuff was so confusing to me. Some netting was way easier. All right, so <clears throat> connecting to the machine, moving forward. All right, we review here so you can look at this. Do you need to start to VM today? Yes. And a link is available. So I'm assuming this is the link, start the machine. Let's click on this link. All right, let's see what this is. This is probably the video game. All right, so what I want to do is I want to try to, I want to try to put this sided, Oh man, let's try to do this again. Why can I put this? Holy moly. All right, let's see if I can just do this. And then let's try to do this again. All right, whatever. I'll just do it like this, just so I can have it side by side. I'm sure you guys can see. Let's go ahead and hit the space bar to look at this game. Let me make this a little bigger so you guys can see. <clears throat> and I can see. All right, so the game. So pretty much you can read all through this. I read it just before I started the video, just so I can get some uh, understanding of what's happening. <clears throat> so pretty much a cat, you know, in this game, you'll play as cat or mouse and blah, blah, blah. So pretty much what we have to do is probably make some changes to some memory and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and keep going down. So we have to do memory corruption. <clears throat> just remember that whenever you execute a program, just in your Windows machine or your Linux machine, whatever, in this, in this game included, all the data that is processed somehow through the computer's RAM, the random access memory, everything that you do is running through there. In this video game, your coin count, inventory, and position, movement speed, and direction are all stored somewhat in the memory. Okay, update as needed as the game goes on. <clears throat> All right, so this is a little picture. Cool deal, coins, position, position X, etc. So let's just keep coming down here and accessing the debug panel. All right, so I'm guessing there's a debug panel. Okay, right here. So if you look on the right-hand side over here, we have spacebar to interact and speak, tab to display the spacebar. What I should do is make a take a picture of this just so I can reference it. Let me do that really quick. And, <clears throat> okay, cool. So then I can reset the image. Okay, cool deal. So I have a little, so now let's go ahead and hit the space bar to continue. And now we have our little game. I think my head's in the way, but that's fine. You guys get the gist. <clears throat> so here we go. We have our ASCII or ASCII, whatever view. Then we have our hex view. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and hit tab, tab. Okay, cool. So tab, tab, it works. <clears throat> Man, my throat's been hurting the last few days. But investigating. All right, so we're going to investigate the case. Make Honeybell wants to focus your attention on the coins, valuables. Go to the computer and generate coins. All right, so I'm sure let's... <clears throat> all right, let's go ahead and... All right, so we just move, move around with the arrows. All right. Then Honey Bell points out the coins. I read. I, I already read this. I already read all this. 
All right, the X at the end of the coin, blah, blah, blah. All right, so strings in, in strings in more detail. Obviously, you can learn about the strings and reset the game for an example of this, blah, blah, blah. All right, so let's keep going down. So to better explain Honeybell, the purpose of the set. All right, so we have to get 16 coins. So let's go ahead and give that a jingle. And the way we do that is go to this computer and hit the space bar. So we just keep hitting the space bar until we get 16 coins. I guess you have to wait like a second and then click on the space bar. I wonder if I just go away for a second. No, that doesn't work. All right, so let's just keep hitting the space bar until we get uh, 16 coins. <clears throat> come on, come on. All right, one more. All right, cool. Oh, crap, we broke the machine. All right, PC is broken. Uh-oh. Oh, isn't it? <clears throat> all right, so rename yourself to all this. So what I'm assuming, so it needs to be 16 characters, right? So let's go ahead and do that. We can just, I'm, I think this is just like a ref, let me see, four, eight, 12, 16, yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and hit the tab really quick so we can see the name. So, all right, so cat or mouse is the player's name as it says right up here. And then we have some leftover, I guess, bytes for these two areas right here. So for the player's name, we have 4812. For coins, we have four. And the shop K name is, you know, Van Frosty. Van Holly is the name. And the inv I guess IN, uh, INV underscore items is an inventories items. I would assume. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and we have to go rename ourselves. I guess we have to click on this guy. Uh, howdy, cat or mouse, I can change your name for one coin per character. Okay, cool, so I get it now. So each, each individual, each individual uh, coin is per character, so that's why we got 16, so we can corrupt that. So. We have 16 coins, so what we're gonna do is probably change that and that coin count is gonna go to a quadrillion. Let's go ahead and, sounds good. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna just 16, right? She said. So I'm just gonna do, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, enter. All right, so I have 20, 26,000 now up here. All right, so let's just keep going down here. All right, so now what we can do, let's see what we have to do now. So now let's go ahead and try to buy some items. Why do we buy stuff though? Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Sounds good. All right, I'm just the integers and the coin values, McTwiddle, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now we, we can change the coin count. So here's how it says F, I, I think I screwed up. So FF00, zero, zero. so let me have, I did four, eight, 10. All right, so let's go back here. That's my bad. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and click on this. Yep, so I wanna do four, eight, 12. So, all right, four, eight, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. How you doing? All right, so here we go. So now I'm good. <clears throat> That's my, my identity. Okay, now we have a quadrillion damn things. Of course, I was like 26,000. I'm missing a few bites and bits. All right, so let's keep going. Let, let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> damn. I'm dying over here. All right, so let's go ahead and go buy. What is this little guy? What the hell is he? Who's this guy? Uh, welcome to the store. Okay, so now we, we're at a store. Is there anything I can do? For whatever. All right, here we go. How you doing? All right, so I guess the main thing is to buy that star. So we have to buy that star. Let's see if we keep coming down. I think I read that somewhere. Winning. <clears throat> Yeah, we have to win this, this, this star. We have to buy this star eventually, right? So let's go ahead and just say, for an example, we want to buy a red, because now we have a quadrillion coins, right? We have a, we're a quadrillionaire. 
So let's go ahead and just put one in here, hit enter, right? So we can see in here, we got two bowls here now, right? Let's hit, let's hit spacebar again and just do like mix skitty. Let's do number five. So we can see here, as we see inventory items here, one, one, five, and then we had zero, you know, the rest of zeros. So as long as we, this, how can I explain this? Like the bowls and like this skitty guy, everything down here, you know, equals a byte. So now, for example, if I go back in here, let's, I guess we just have to buy this. And we have all this money. So let's go ahead and see if we can do D for dog here for the star. All right. Oh, shit. All right. So now we have this little blue headed, I don't even know, icon here. <clears throat> so now what we have to do is, I think I see, let me read again. So blah, blah, blah. Let's explain how this thing is done. All right. So let's, I'm just reading over here. <clears throat> All right. So do, 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 winning the game. No, let's go back up here for a sec. Sorry, I'm just um, trying to learn this as much as you guys. This is not my uh, cup of tea. All right, so inventory. So we have, we can buffer overflow these, what is that? 4, 8, 12, right? So let's give that a jingle. So let's go and let's get out of here. So what we can do technically, because this howdy, AA, whatever, okay? So seems like we can actually change things in here to make changes on the right hand side here in this but the task bar whatever you want to this task right so if we see here we can see uh i should have counted this before so 4 8 12 16 24 3 was that 45 right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 Right, 15 times, I think it's 45, I think. Uh, let me actually pull out a calculator just to, uh, uh, where's my, does Callie have, I'm sure Callie has a calculator. We're gonna learn today. All right, so let's do this really quick. Because um, I thought I was good at math, but I, apparently I'm not. So it's like 15 times four, 60, 60. Minus, minus 15. I think it's 45. All right. So let's go ahead and just give this a jingle. So, right. One, oh man. Sorry. I need to recount this. I want to make sure. So let's just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Right. Let me make sure. Yeah. And then we're going to do. What is that? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's gonna be ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then D is gonna be, was it one shit, another ten, I think? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we can do and it was it A B C E? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. H, two, three, four, and whatever D, I don't know. All right, that didn't work. All right, let's try that again. Did I miscount? This is why you're going to learn today. All right, so let's see. I screwed something up, so... All right, let me let me try this really quick. Give me one second. Um, so one, I want to I want to see if I I'm trying to do some math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we have one, two, three, four. All right, so there we go. Now we got the star. I, I, I guess we got two stars. I guess my first one worked. I don't know if I just didn't see it. All right, so, all right, that, that's cool. Now what do we do? All right, let's get, we got the star. So that was the whole point of the, but overflowing this is to get the star. So winning the game, confused, blah, blah, blah. We got the star. Once you got the star, interact with the Christmas tree. All right, let's, what the hell is this? All right, here's the Christmas tree. Wow, that was, that was pretty cool. All right, so now we got the star. Now what? You've got the star, thanks for the... All right, cool. So now we got the, the, uh, the flag here. Oh, we can't copy that, right? Oh, geez. All right, so T-H-M. And then Mick Honey Bell. Mick Honey Bell is underscore the real star. All right, that's right. All right, so now we have to answer this. What is this? Uh, and the coins valuable in the memory of the blows. All right, so the coins. All right, let's see. How can we? I think we had a. Yeah, we have to click on something. Let's do that really quick. Where is that? Uh, online tool. Let's open up this. All right, so pretty much we have to do hexadecimal. Okay, that's fine with me. So technically, we have to take this coin value and go backwards right so it's 53 50 f4 f4 53 50 53 50 was it uh 4 f4 f right 4 f4 f convert so this is the decimal let's copy this i hope this is right um this is wrong um, all right cool we got it that's it. So we want to learn about more up about buffer overflows. Here you go. Bada bing, bada boom, complete. And we are good. This was day six. This was fun. It was a little confusing, but I definitely, obviously before I started the video, I definitely read this and it still confused me. I thought I got it. And I, you know, I took some notes prior. So I didn't want this to be like a, an hour video, but how long is it now? It's probably been 15 minutes or something, but uh, hopefully it's been informative for you folks. You learned something and thank you so much and thumbs up and I'll see you in day seven tomorrow. Take care.